Hi everybody, this is H of the Stage and welcome to my sixth ever live stream. Now, I'm always nervous when I'm doing these live streams because I'm kind of technically very, um, I'm not, you know, I'm not very good at these technical things. I think live streaming is a special sort of skill, uh, which I don't really practice enough, but I think that's something that I really should do more on this channel. Anyway, thank you all for being here. I'm uh, going to tell you a bit what I'm planning to do in December and I'm going to tell you a couple of things that I wanted to say for a long time so let's just start uh, I'm actually going to open my YouTube live app actually YouTube studio so I can see a bit of your comments as well I can do it uh, you know like live but I think uh, it's easier this way for me to respond to you guys Anyway, thank you all for being here, and this is what I wanted to talk. So, it's been a while since I've did a live stream. It's actually been almost a year. Last time that I did a live stream, it was actually for Team C's. I don't know if you guys remember Team C's. That's basically Mark Rovers and Mr. B's project, which was all about cleaning the ocean. And they wanted to raise, I can't even remember how much, I think $20 million. $20 million, I think, or maybe even $30 million. Anyway, it's a, a, it's a big-ass number. And they wanted to reach that, and with every, I think, dollar they've cleaned, uh, I, I think, five pounds of trash from the ocean. I can't remember the details, but it was a really big project, and they've uh, gotten all of these um, influencers, you know, creators, and just a bunch of people uh, contributing and donating and stuff like that. So I wanted to do a kind of a cool thing as well, and I've actually did a live stream, which was actually a 70... 17 hours long where I've uh, said team sees a hundred thousand times so imagine just sitting here and kind of freezing a bit because this is a pretty cold room in December uh, and saying uh, team sees hundred thousand times that's probably the craziest thing that I've ever did on this channel so you can imagine why I didn't do a live stream for almost a year it's it was really exhausting but at the end uh, we managed to reach that goal, or should I say they managed have only contributed just a bit with that live stream. But all in all, it was a kind of a crazy experience. And yeah, uh, but live streaming is definitely something that I want to explore a bit more. So thank you all for being here. Uh, shout out to Mary Kukla. I see her comment. Shout out to my wife who also uh, is waving. Thank you to everybody that's uh, joined us there. And actually shout out to a guy who've uh, basically he's... Uh, a cashier in Split, and this is the first guy that I don't know that recognized me, let's say, on the street. So I was shopping, you know, a, a little bit of that Black Friday shopping, uh, and um, just a guy, a cashier there in this one shop, recognized me by one of my Pentatonix videos. So shout out to you, it's somebody from Split. You know, kind of an interesting thing to. Um, you know, it's a it's a new experience for me. I mean, I've been doing YouTube for almost three years now, kind of constantly, always posting something, but uh, I haven't been noticed in public, haven't been really recognized before. Maybe maybe something small, but this is the first time that somebody that I completely don't know who he is and stuff like that just actually asked me, are you that guy that, you know, does th those reactions? And yeah, uh, yeah, I'm that guy. So it was a bit awkward for me, but at the same time, kind of a, kind of a cool experience. So... What did I wanted to s uh, talk to you? I can actually show you that live stream a bit if you want to see. I mean, I'm actually trying something new like sharing the screen here. So let me know if this works. So these are my live streams. So as I've already said, this is my sixth live stream. I've done one uh, two years ago. Two, uh, actually two live streams two years ago. A couple of them uh, last year actually three last year so that was a pretty good live streaming year but this is the one I was talking about mr. beast type challenge hundred thousand times saying team C's this one is uh, 11 hours and 25 minutes long and this one is uh, six hours and 20 minutes long now the reason I've divided them because YouTube doesn't automatically save uh, live streams that are longer than 12 hours and I really wanted to have these ones on the channel because they're crazy like when am I ever going to do this again Ooh. and there's actually ads playing on them still so yeah. I'm actually going to skip ads on my channel imagine that so you know it was a really crazy challenge you don't really have to listen to it but I've actually hit a space bar every time I've uh, said uh, team C's so you can hear it here you can actually see it here I don't know if you can you can hear it oh sorry I've actually sped up this because it was too long <laughs> So, so that's just me 
saying TMC is like 26,000 times. Let me see, like, at the end of this video, look at all of these comments. Like, people were really supporting me. So 67,000 times, I think 70,000 times I did in this first uh, uh, video, which was 11 hours long, a bit longer. And in the second part of the video, I've managed to come to an end. Dude, th this was crazy. I'm still getting uh, just choked up and nervous that I've actually done this. You know, 95,000 times, 100, 100,000 times at the end. I'm not going to spoil it for you. You can actually check it out. It's on the channel. It's kind of a cool moment at the end, but you know, you can check it out. Now, somebody says that I need to, uh, I need to, let me just see. Somebody says that I need to uh, turn up the volume of my mic a bit. So let me see if I can do that. Is this any better? Let me know. I've turned it up a bit. Okay. Let me know if this is better. Anyway, uh, what else? So that was a crazy live experience. Now the reason, uh, maybe you've noticed that I've been posting a little bit less um, lately. And there's a reason for that. I've been posting one video a, we a week when I usually post about two videos a week. And the reason for that is that I'm really like... Um, I have too much going on in school. I'm teaching in school. I'm a you know vocal coach or singing professor in music schools, and I also teach uh, piano. And uh, I have a couple of classes of choir singing, and uh, there's just too much going on. Especially like this uh, Christmas time, it's always like too many concerts and stuff like that. But not only that, I have uh, these four students that are actually graduating high school, so music high school, and also another high school that they go to uh, this year. So I'm preparing them for their final exams and final concerts, especially this one student who, who plans to continue to the singing university. I'm not really sure how to tell. It, it's a music university, but she's going to apply for the singing, like um, uh, for the singing direction. Anyway, so a lot of things going on. And these students are just crazy. They're, they're you know, they're like my favorite people in the world. They're... Um, it's, it's really interesting having uh, work. Uh, it's really interesting working with someone for four years um, and five years with this one guy and uh, basically seeing them grow. Not only grow like um, in a musical sense, which they've done, like I'm super proud of all of them, uh, but actually as a people as well, like they've really evolved and they are more open now and they're very... It's very interesting watching all of that it, from a like like being a professor. It really warms my heart. And as a, as a person, as a human, I guess as well, it's just interesting helping somebody, let's say, become a person they're going to be in their life. So, you know, maybe they're not going to remember everything that we did, like musically and stuff like that. But I'm sure that they're going to remember some life lessons and stuff like that that we've talked about. So definitely I'm going to be really sad, <laughs> sad when like... Um, July or January, February, March, April, May, May actually uh, happens because uh, they're, gradu they're graduating in May, in May. But, you know, I'm still sure that we're going to grab a coffee here and there. I mean, they're, you know, they're a bunch of crazy cool guys and girls. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. But one reason uh, that I've been posting uh, a bit less, that's one of the reasons. Another reason is that I've actually recorded a lot of reactions like for the future, but they're different. I'm actually trying to do something a bit else on this channel, not only music reactions and not only music topics, which I'm definitely going to do in the future. Music is uh, always going to be uh, the main part of the channel, I believe, but I want to talk about a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that I find interesting as a human or th that I just enjoy, you know, that doesn't even have to be too interesting uh, to everybody, but I'm actually recording an anime reaction. There's this one anime that I haven't watched before, and that it it's it's super hyped. It's it's really it's too hard to watch. It's uh, mind blowing. It's uh, like leaving you on the edge of your seat. And uh, I'm going to post the first three episodes, the reaction to the first three episodes to my Patreon tomorrow. 
Uh, so you can check it out if you want to watch it there already. But next week, so the week uh, after this one, uh, I'm going to post the YouTube edits on YouTube, you know. So it's going to be like, I don't know, I think the full anime has about 80 episodes so i will post three episodes a week so i'm thinking monday wednesday and friday and uh maybe some of you aren't really into anime and i can understand that you can skip these videos i'm still going to do music videos of course but if you do find it even a bit interesting or if you're like playing with the idea of watching something like this i definitely recommend watching this anime i'm not going to say which anime it is quite yet because a lot of you know uh what anime I'm talking about, but um, you, you're just going to find out. I think it's really interesting. Let me just see what uh, how things are going on in the live chat. Uh, hello from Colombia to you. Hello to everybody. Uh, why are you not reacting to Sarah Ger Geronimo? I've actually reacted to her a couple of times on this channel. Check it out. Uh, but as I've said, I have too many things like I want to react to, and uh, somebody is always going to be a bit sad that I haven't reacted to their favorite singer. But you know, it's like too many of them, and uh, there's just one me, and I'm, you know, this channel is a one man guy, one man job. So I'm editing, I'm filming, I'm uh, preparing, I'm researching like what people want to watch. It's not just comments, you know. Um, there are always a bunch of comments, like single comments that want to want me to react to somebody. And to tell you the truth, I'm not really reacting to a lot of artists that I would really want to react to because um, it's just like the YouTube algorithm. It's not really pushing them. Like Arctic Monkeys are one of my favorite bands and I've done a couple of reactions to them. And some of them did okay because uh, they've just released a new album. But if I were to react to some of their older songs, which I would really love to talk about, it's just going to get buried with a bunch of other things that YouTube is promoting. So it's really hard to find a balance, you know, to uh, the things that people want to watch and uh, the things that I really want to talk about. So, you know, it's, um, you know, it, it's really hard to find the balance between all that. And not to mention the balance between my private life uh, with my, you know, balance uh, for being a father, being a husband and being a professor. So, you know, Try to bear with me, but I'm doing my best and I'm definitely going to do better from December on, especially with these anime reactions. I have a lot of them already done and I plan to do a lot of them more. But after I finish watching this anime, I'm probably going to go to another anime. And in the main meantime, I'm also going to post like at least one and maybe even two music reactions or music topic related videos that I'm sure that you will going to enjoy. So thank you for sticking with me all this all this time. And I hope that you are going to check out this anime with me because it's really it's really fun. It's really fun. Ooh, it's uh, making me scream, laugh, cry. Ooh, it's a, it's an incredible story. Actually, it kind of uh, taught me how to do better videos because when I'm watching these anime and they're all like maybe 20 minutes long, the storyline is so good. It's like you're watching 20 minutes, but they pass like it, it almost feels like you've just watched a minute of a show. And when I'm watching a movie, you know, it can be a three hour movie. As good as a movie can be, it, it always feels a bit longer. But these shows, these episodes fly by so fast. It's really fun. I hope you'll join me on this ride. Anyway, what else did I wanted to say? Uh, so, yeah, I've actually wanted to do this. I'm going to post a new Pentatonix reaction as soon as I'm finished with this uh, live stream. So that's kind of my gift to you for now, especially for all of you that joined the live stream. It really does mean a lot to me. And I'm actually going to do something that I haven't done ever on this channel. I'm going to do a Dimash quiz. So I'm going to do a live quiz. And um, I haven't... Um, I think I'm going to make a fool of myself because as much as I know about Dimash, especially his singing, I don't really know too much about his uh, personal life and stuff like that. So I could make a fool of myself, you know, by not knowing the answer to some of these questions. And yeah, but I guess some of you can help me in the live uh, in the comment section. But yeah, for now on, let's try to do a Dimash, Dimash trivia, basically. That's how we're going to call it. So Dimash quiz. I hope you're ready. I know a lot of you are Dimash fans and let's just let's just do it. The first question, there are 30 questions. So the first question, um, the musical high notes Dimash is most famous for hitting. I mean, I know the answer to this one because one of my most famous, uh, most viewed videos on the channel is actually a high note. It's actually about this high note. Uh, it's from the performance of um, 
what was that? A Gaku concert, I think. And the note is D8. I'm pretty sure of this, unless he's saying a higher note in the meantime. But I think this is this is the one that sounded like a dolphin, basically. Uh, sorry. Mm, click space. D8. Okay. So, first question got correct. Second question. This is the first name of Dimash's father. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know Dimash's father's name. Mm. Okay, I don't want to watch. I don't want to check out the live chat right now. I'm just going to guess some weird name. I don't know. Uh, is it I mean, I've I probably heard it sometime somewhere, but I, I forgot. This is the first name of Dimash's father. I don't know. I'm going to say Lazar, but I know that that's not the answer. So let's see. Kan Kanat. Kanat. I wouldn't know that. I wouldn't know that. Let me know if you knew this. Uh, let me check out the next question. Dimash, as an instrumentalist, is best known for playing this traditional Kazakh stringed instrument. Now, I know what instrument that is. I've seen him play it a bunch of times. It's kind of like uh, the one that you uh, place on your lap and you uh, play it like this. I believe that's the one that they're referring to. But I don't know what's the instrument called. It's not a balalaika, although it kind of sounds like that. I don't know. Maybe if I see the answer, maybe I'm going to say, ah, oh, I should have known this. Let me see. Dombra. Aka dom Dombira. I wouldn't know this. I wouldn't know this. I'm a I'm a musician and stuff, but these traditional instruments, there are just too many of them and I don't know their names. Uh let me see how you guys are doing. Oh, you've already knew the <laughs> the answer to this one. Okay, okay. Let's continue. So fourth question. Uh sorry, this is the fourth question. The city where Dimash was born. Kazakhstan. I mean, if I didn't knew this, if I didn't know this, th this would be just bad for me. Oh, the city. Oh, I'm sorry. So, Aktobi. I'm, I've actually heard about the city, but uh, I, th I thought the country was... Ah! I'm actually worse <laughs> worse than I thought I was going to be. Aktobi. Aktobi. Yeah, that's, the, that's where he sang that performance um, I reacted to when he was a kid. When he was just a small kid. Um, in the description of the video, it said Aktobi and it said the date of the show. Man. I'm going to butcher these questions, but let's continue. I think that's fun. If you know, if you know this, is Dimash's middle name of uh, Dimash Kudaibergen? What's his middle name? What's his middle name? Dimash. Oh my God. I I bet a bunch of you are screaming at your screens right now. Dimash's middle name. Okay, I'm going to check in the live chat. Maybe you guys know. Okay, so Claudia is saying, uh, Dimash Kanatuli Kanatuli Kudaibergen. So I'm going to go with that Kanatuli. Thank you for the help. Kanatuli. Thank you. Thank you, Claudia. You rock. <laughs> okay, so I'm definitely not going to know these answers, but maybe you can help me. Let's see. Okay. I don't know what this question is, but um, this is from this is taken from the uh, from the um, Vita song Opera 2. Opera 2. And it was from the singer competition. This is actually his second performance in the singer competition, I believe. So maybe that that's the question. It, it's just a picture. So let's see. Opera 2. Okay. So that's... How many did I got correct? Maybe two or three. Let's see the other one. So it's just a screenshot from a concert. And I guess I need to figure out what song this is. How, how can I know this? This could be... Huh. I'm going to say Ogni Pietra, Olimpico, but I, I really don't know. 
SOS, come on. There are like so many performances of SOS that I can't, I can't possibly know all of them. Did you know? Okay, Opera 2, of course, I knew that one. But this second one, the SOS, I, I, I couldn't figure out from the picture. So let's check out the other question. <clears throat> okay, 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 I think I know this one. This is a picture from his, why, why, am I not, why am I not using my glass? Okay, this is a picture from one of his uh, music videos. I think this is from uh, across uh, across uh, those dimensions. What's the what's the song called? Across. Oh man, I should have done this live stream a bit sooner in the day. It's already night here, and I'm kind of drawing a blank to some of these. But across the across dimensions, I, I'm missing a word. Across endless dimensions. That's right. So I think that's this. This is one. This is the one. Across Endless Dimensions. Okay. I'm actually proud of this one. I wasn't sure about... Okay. Uh, <laughs> a girl flying in the air being carried by these strings. This is from some of the choreography from his live shows, but... I have no idea. I need to... I need to... Okay. Claudia says no. Claudia seems to know everything about Dimash, so I'm going to trust her again. Let's say no, as in K-N-O-W. No, no. Good job. Claudia, <laughs> you're actually winning this for me. Okay, what's the next one? What's this? This is Dimash when he was really young. I have no idea. I, I, I didn't listen to this. I, I don't know this one. So there's still a lot of Dimash songs that I need to check out. I'm not going to I'm not going to check out the answer. I'm, I I don't know. I can just I, I don't know what to tell you. Dimash being young. I don't know. I'm just going to see the answer. My beauty. Haven't heard of this one. Okay. Uh, the popular TV competition singer in which Dimash took part was staged in this country, uh, China. It was in China, right? Yeah. Okay. That's another one that I knew. I've actually I watched the whole season of the singer competition when Dimash was competing. And I have, it, uh, I have the full episodes, the full reactions on my Patreon page. So if you're interested in that, you can check it out. It was an amazing season like amazing singers not only Dimash Dimash was incredible but like um, a lot of a lot of interesting singers Teresha there was that one singer um, Tia Tia was mine like I really like Tia uh, what's the name of the the one I can't remember right now but all in all like there were some really incredible singers and it's interesting hearing these China songs as well there are pop songs ballads classical songs classical rock songs there was uh, that band the Lions I think uh, who were kind of a rock band and they've had incredible stuff some arrangements of theirs were just incredible and the singer is great so definitely if you haven't checked out the singer competition where Dimash competed that's my recommendation to you you can check it out with me you can check it out alone that's your choice, but an incredible competition. Okay. Uh, the American TV competition from which Dimash withdrew for all the right reasons. He was actually competing in an American TV competition. Um, I'm not familiar with this fact. So I can only guess the American TV competition. It's not The Voice. Maybe... Amer America's Got Talent, not even that. American TV competition, so it doesn't have to be a singing competition. Maybe singing with the stars, singing with stars or something like that. I'm not sure how, what's the right... Um, let me just check the answer to this one. The world's best. Haven't heard of that competition at all, like ever. The world's best. What's that? The world's best. So a lot of you knew the answer to this one. I can read it here. Don't check it out. I don't know. I haven't heard about that one. Okay. 13th question. Let's see. 
the songs Dimash performed where he attained first place for the Wii Con singer were SOS Opera 2 and this title. Okay, okay, let me reread this. The songs Dimash performed where he attained first place for the Wii, Wii Con singer were SOS Opera 2 and what other song did he get the first place for? Let me let me try to figure. I know that Uptown Funk is not the first place. That was maybe his worst performance in that season. The first place, uh, Autumn Leaves, maybe. I think that's the title of the song. No, 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 no. Daybreak, maybe Daybreak, right? That's kind of a very emotional song about a child who died, and Dimash said that he was um, really connected to that song, but he was also sick that time, so his vocals were kind of a bit strained, but I think that, I think Daybreak could be the, the one. I don't know, I mean, there were so many, uh, there were so many good performances from Dimash that I can't remember which one took first place. I'm going to say Daybreak. Adagio, oh, oh. Shit. <laughs> Sorry. I should have known this one. I should have known. This, this is my bad. This is definitely my bad. Oh, it's been a, about a year since I've checked out the singer competition. So forgive me about that. But let's go to the next one. Dimash performed SOS at the Slavic Bazaar in uh, 2015 as a competitor. Then again, in, uh, then again later in 2018 as a guest in this country. Where did he perform? I mean, I don't, as I already said, I enjoy listening to Dimash and I'm kind of a more, I'm not like the biggest fan like you guys, definitely you you guys know more than I do, but I just enjoy listening to him. I don't really go into detail about where did he perform and, you know, all of this, all of these things. Maybe I should. Oh, where did he perform in this country? I know about the Slavic Bazaar. Mm, maybe in... Belarus? I think there was one performance there. I'm just going to, before I change my mind, I'm going to say Belarus. Yes! <laughs> oh, this was this was like a long shot. This was just, I was just guessing this one. I think I've read it somewhere. Okay, Young Dimash won a national piano competition at this age. He won a national piano competition? I'm just going to guess this one. I'm going to say age... 10. It's probably a bit more or less, but let's just say 10. 6. What the hell? He won a national piano competition at the age of 6? Dude, that's that's crazy. Okay, some of you said 5. Not all of you were sure, okay? That makes me a bit, you know, it makes it a bit easier for me. I thought that he was maybe 9. I don't know. But 6, that's basically like age... Mozart's age when Mozart was doing all of incredible stuff. I think Mozart wrote his first opera at the age of six, I think, or something like that. Uh, it's called Bastien und Bastiana. A very interesting kind of a short opera. I think it's only maybe 20, 30 minutes long. Only three characters in that opera. Check it out. It's very, it's a, it's a fun opera. Kind of a, kind of a childish play, like, a, I don't know, like a fairy tale kind of thing. Let's check out the 16th question. <clears throat> Dimash met this action movie star, his boyhood idol, during the time in China while filming episodes of Singer. Okay, I know this one for sure. Because this guy, this action movie star, was actually one of my all-time favorite uh, stars, idols, you know, fighting heroes when I was younger. And it's Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan is the man. He's, he's the coolest guy on earth. Jackie Chan. Man, who doesn't like Jackie Chan? Okay, Across Endless Dimension is a part of the movie soundtrack for this film. <coughs> so I know that it's a soundtrack for some movie, but I can't remember the name of the movie. I know it's a science fiction movie. It's played in space and stuff like that, but I I, I can't remember the name. It, maybe if I knew the first letter or something. Uh, let, me, let me check in the, in the comment section. The creator. That's right. That's right. 
That's right. The creator. The past. Okay, I, I wouldn't remember this one, but I've definitely heard about this. Okay. Dimash sings on the movie soundtrack for this uh, 2020 Jackie Chan film. Huh. Me being a Jackie Chan fan, I've watched all of his older movies, but I don't know a movie from 2020 or 2020. It's not... 2020, that wasn't too long. That was like two years ago. I haven't watched this movie. So whatever I say, I'm going to... I'm just going to say something random. So, Jackie Chan movie. Brothers. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to check out the answer for this one. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that you guys know, but... Vanguard. I need to check out this movie. I didn't even know that uh, Jackie Chan had some like newer movies. I thought that he was already retired because he's pretty old now, but he's still like in good shape. Dude's dude's been like breaking his leg. I think like almost every movie that he has done. If you've watched any of his movies, there's always uh, the part at the end of the, those movies where they show the amount of times that he fall because he does his own stunts. And that's one of the things that I especially admire about him. And the dude's crazy. He's been like wearing casts in and out of record, uh, filming the movies. Ha! He's just a very interesting character. Actor Dimash portrays a boxer in this Chinese short film. I have no idea. Let's just speed run to this one. Fanta, Fanta City. Like the drink? Fanta. Haven't heard about this. Okay, let's speed it up a bit. Uh, question 20. Dimash has a song in this 2017 Chinese film. I don't know Chinese films. I don't even know a lot of new films that, uh, I don't know, Hollywood gets out because a lot of uh, new movies suck, honestly, if I'm saying. I mean, n not to be general generalizing everything, but there has been... Sometimes since I've watched a movie that really took me completely, like, mesmerized me. There were a couple, but not really too many. Uh, 2017? But I have no idea. Let me check. What do you say? Fantasy City was already uh, vanguard, okay? So you were out answering the previous questions. I'm not sure that even you, you guys know the answer to this one. Okay, let's not Google it. Let's not do anything. Let's just see. Battle of Memories. No? Not even you guys knew about this one. Okay, so that makes me feel better. Dimash's father secretly flew to China to surprise him, leading to an emotional reunion after the ending of this song. I know this. This was in, um, in the singer competition as well. But what song was that after? I think it was, I think it was after Opera 2. I think it was already in the second uh, episode. Dimash's father secretly flew to China to surprise him, leading to an emotional reunion after the ending of the song. I th I think that that's after Opera 2. Let's, let's just check. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. I know a couple of things. I'm not the biggest, biggest Dimash fan, but I know a couple of things. With great emotion, Dimash covered this song from prior season 3's top winner, Han Hong. Daybreak. I think that's the one. I know the Daybreak is from a Chinese singer, famous Chinese singer. And uh, I know that Dimash really did a great cover. So it's either Daybreak or Autumn Leaves. I think it's Daybreak. I'm going, f I'm going with Daybreak. Yeah! Woo! Okay. I'm getting better by the end of this uh, quiz. Question 23. Contrary to often told facts, Dimash was not the first foreigner to compete on the show. Prior to Dimash's season 5 appearance, the show's second through fourth season had several, several foreign contestants from these three countries. Uh, I know that... Um, 
I, I've only watched the uh, season where Dimash competed, so I can't really say. But I'm pretty sure that they've had somebody from America, I think. Uh, they've had somebody from... Um, hmm. Okay, I have no idea. I th I, I'm just going to name three countries. So, um, so what's the question? Uh, the show had several foreign contestants from these three countries. So, Kazakhstan, America, and let's say... I really don't know. India. I, I'm just... I, I don't know. Malaysia, Singapore, and South Korea. So, I, I, I'm I was completely... Completely wrong about this one. Okay. Singer, also known as The Singer and I Am Singer, is based on a similar TV show from what country? How the hell could... Would I know this? Singer, I Am Singer based on a similar TV show from what country? Honestly, I didn't find anything similar. I think Singer is still probably the best singing competition there ever was, like a popular, in a popular sense on TV. I mean, it doesn't really look like The Voice. It's not like America's Got Talent or anything like that. TV show, maybe, maybe Masked Singer, although I haven't watched an episode of Mass Singer, but let's. Oh no no no! What the question is from which country? From what country? <sighs> I don't know. Singer is a Chinese competition. Let's say Japan, South Korea. Okay, this was just a wild guess. This veteran Hong Kong performer took the top prize in the 2017 edition of Singer just ahead of Dimash. Uh, I didn't want to spoil to anybody who hasn't watched this season, but uh, the winner was a girl, <laughs> a woman, who was already an established singer, a professional, and she was she was great. I know a lot of people say that Dimash was kind of robbed of the first place, but honestly, this singer didn't have a bad performance. The whole season she was great. Uh, Sandy. They call her Sandy, but her Chinese name is a bit different. So I'm just going to say Sandy. They're going to say what uh, her name is. Sandy Lam, okay, and she was great. I know a lot of people hate her because uh, Dimash kind of lost to her, although Dimash gained worldwide fame because of this show, but Sandy was definitely incredible. Uh, if you were to watch the whole season from start to finish, Sandy really didn't have a bad moment. She was always technically flawless, pretty much. She was always pitch perfect. She was a great singer. You know, I'm trying to be objective here. I love Dimash more than Sandy, no, no doubt about that, but Sandy was incredible. Just saying, you know. Let's not fight over that. I wait for you. Okay, this is from a song. I wait for you. Oh my god. I wait for you. Ah, I should know this. Okay, I need your help. I wait for you. Adaja. A D A G E O. Okay. Adaja. I wait for you, Adaja. That's that's right. That's right. <sighs> I haven't listened to Adaja in a while. I need to refresh my mind when it comes to that. I wait for you, Adaja. Of course. Ah! I'm mad about myself. I'm mad at myself for not knowing this one. This is my bad. Do you still share? Do you still share? Oh man, I'm awful at this. Okay, this one is all yours. <laughs> Let me know. Let me know the answer. Memories. Do you still share memories? From which song that is? That's from what song? Memories? Oh, sorry, sorry. I need to... Do you still share memories from your love? 
I mean, I've listened to most of these songs, and I remember the melodies. I remember him singing them. I remember a lot of technical stuff because I was actually listening in my analytical mode while doing the reactions, most of them. But I don't really remember all of the lyrics. Uh, I don't know. That's just how it is. All I'm asking for, give me your soul, I would say. All I'm asking for, give me your soul. I'm going to say soul, but I could be wrong. Love. <gasps> I was. I was being a bit speedy here. Give me your love. I know that one. Why would I say soul? That kind of sounds a bit scary. Give me your soul. That doesn't sound like Dimash. <laughs> that sounds like, I don't know, dead metal. Oh my god. You guys are going to hate me for this, right? I mean, this is all a game, but I haven't really... I maybe maybe have gotten five or six right now. I'm not going to count that. I can't remember. But there were 30 questions here. Man, I should have known a bit more. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't ask for... I wouldn't ask for... I wouldn't ask for much i wouldn't ask for love i wouldn't ask for i wouldn't ask for more i wouldn't ask for more let's go with that that sounds familiar i wouldn't ask for more from if i never breathe again Whew. okay i remember this one but only barely from empty days to from empty days to okay i'm not going to act like i know the answer to this one because i don't L let me uh, i need your help so let's see <laughs> from empty days to light just just uh, hearing that, like, out of context, sounds weird. It sounds nice, but it doesn't give me the whole picture. So, from empty days to light. Across endless dimensions. I really need to refresh my mind when it comes to Dimash's songs. Well, this was a very interesting quiz. 30 questions. I think you've done better than me. Let me just check if I wanted to tell you anything more in this live stream. I think that's pretty much all of it. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for playing this with me. It was incredible. And I'm going to leave it now. And I'm going to post the new Pentatonix reaction right now. It's to a song called 12 Days of Christmas. I'm sure that you already know that song. And uh, Pentatonix did a great version of it. So thank you for watching. And see you in the next video. Bye.